Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Draymond Green, I hate the play-in. It's the best thing ever created. Draymond Green's recent comments on the NBA play-in tournament reveal his conflicting emotions regarding the format. While he openly admits to hating the play-in, he also acknowledges its positive impact on the league. I hate the play-in. Just so you all, I absolutely hate it. It's the best thing ever created. When you look at the play-in and what it's done for basketball, it's the best thing ever created. I don't know who came up with it, I know Braun said they need to be fired. If they were fired when Braun said that, they need their job back. Since the NBA has added the play-in, it's taken the last month and a half of the season to a totally different level. Like, totally different. So, I hate the play-in. I especially hate being the 10 seed. But as much as I hate it, as a basketball player, as a basketball fan, this play-in is nuts, and you gotta love it. Expressing his disdain for the play-in, Green emphasizes his frustration with the additional hurdle it poses for teams like the Golden State Warriors. As the tenth seed in the Western Conference, the Warriors face a challenging path to secure a playoff spot, needing to win two games to clinch the eighth seed. However, despite his personal aversion to the tournament, Green recognizes its significance in enhancing competition and generating excitement for fans. He credits the play-in format for elevating the intensity of games during the final stretch of the regular season, creating compelling matchups and storylines. Green's candid assessment underscores the dual perspective of players and fans regarding the play-in tournament. While players may resent the added pressure and uncertainty it brings, fans appreciate the heightened drama and stakes associated with each game. As the Warriors prepare to navigate the play-in tournament, Green's remarks highlight the team's determination to overcome the challenges and secure a coveted playoff berth. While his feelings may remain conflicted, Green's focus remains on embracing the competitive nature of the tournament and delivering strong performances on the court. Ultimately, Green's comments reflect the evolving landscape of the NBA and the ongoing debate surrounding the merits of the play-in tournament. As teams adapt to the format, the league continues to explore ways to enhance competition and engage fans, ensuring that the excitement of postseason basketball remains at the forefront of the NBA experience. As the Golden State Warriors gear up for their play-in tournament matchup against the Sacramento Kings, Draymond Green anticipates a hostile environment awaiting them in Sacramento. Reflecting on the intense rivalry between the two Northern California teams, Green acknowledges the passionate fanbase eager to witness their team triumph over the Warriors. With memories of last year's grueling seven-game series still fresh, characterized by Stephen Curry's remarkable 50-point Game 7 performance, the Warriors understand the intensity of the competition they'll face in Sacramento. The close contests played throughout the season only add fuel to the fire, setting the stage for a fiercely contested playoff atmosphere. Green's remarks highlight the importance of mental preparedness and resilience as the Warriors navigate through hostile territory. As they seek to secure a playoff spot with back-to-back -back road victories, Green emphasizes the significance of maintaining composure and focus amidst the raucous crowd and heightened emotions. Moreover, the Warriors' lower seating in the Western Conference adds an element of unpredictability to their postseason journey. Despite facing formidable opponents and enduring setbacks throughout the season, Green remains optimistic about their potential to defy expectations and emerge victorious. As the Warriors and Kings reignite their rivalry on the playoff stage, head coach Steve Kerr underscores the challenge posed by Sacramento's talented roster. With players like De'Aaron Fox and DeMantis Sabonis leading the charge, the Kings present a formidable opponent capable of executing their game plan effectively. Curtainbach, the Warriors bet big on Jonathan Kuminga. It must pay out this postseason. The matchups for Tuesday's play-in tournament game between the Warriors and Kings are tantalizing. Steph Curry against De'Aaron Fox. Draymond Green against DeMantis Sabonis. Steve Kerr against Mike Brown. But there's one player for whom the other team cannot account. 
and he just so happens to play the most important position in the game come the postseason. Warriors wing Jonathan Kaminga's 2023-24 season has been a roller coaster. There was the pre-report, pre-haircut Kaminga, who was in and out of Kerr's rotation and averaging 12 points per game, an inauspicious start to the campaign that culminated in a conspicuous absence late in a home loss to the Nuggets and a loss of faith in the head coach, as reported by The Athletic on January 5. Since then, Kaminga has been arguably the Warriors' third most important player, behind Curry and Green, playing nearly 30 minutes per game and averaging 19 points per contest. And while the hype around the 21-year-old has risen alongside the minutes and points, it's still unclear if the Warriors can trust him as the team heads into this postseason, his first with a role. But it's not like the Warriors have much of a choice. For all Curry and Green's greatness, the Warriors will go as far as Kaminga can take them this postseason. He's the X-factor, the game-changer, the present and the future. The NBA playoffs are defined by two-way wings, players who can create for themselves and others at all three levels on offense and deny at all three levels on defense. There aren't many players with the size and athleticism to control an NBA playoff game. Kuminga is certainly one. And while, ironically, the Warriors have another option for that job, Andrew Wiggins, the leading wing on the 2022 championship team, he is more enigmatic than the kid from the Congo. Guessing if 2022 Wiggins will arrive for this postseason is a fool's errand. For what it's worth, the Warriors have come to accept that Wiggins was a one-hit wonder. It's better to keep expectations low. They'll be happily surprised if he reprises the role, though. In the meantime, they'll need a wing, and Kaminga is the next best man for the job. But while Wiggins commits errors of omission, he floats on the court, and not in a good way, the young and energetic Kaminga commits errors of commission. He's trying to do too much, which often leaves him failing to do what he needs to do for the Warriors to win. Many of the issues that limited Kaminga's role at the beginning of the season persist. They've shown themselves in the final weeks of the season. But Kerr had no choice but to play Kaminga more in January and beyond because the team was in disarray and was lacking anyone who could reasonably be considered a number two. He's in the same spot heading into the postseason. Golden State Warriors, Draymond Green crushes LeBron James play and take. LeBron James once shared his true feelings about the idea of the play-in tournament. The Los Angeles Lakers star hated it, even going as far as to say that whoever came up with the concept should lose employment. Golden State Warriors star forward Draymond Green isn't as critical of the play-in concept, though. For Green, the play-in tourney adds so much flavor to the regular season as it gives meaning to games, especially down the stretch of the campaign. That is also exactly the point of the play-in, to breathe life into games that would have carried barely any essence under previous circumstances. Here's what Green said about the NBA's play-in tourney during a recent episode of the Draymond Green Show. I hate the play-in. Just so you all, I absolutely hate it, said Green. It's the best thing ever created. When you look at the play-in and what it's done for basketball, it's the best thing ever created. I don't know who came up with it, I know, LeBron James, said they need to be fired. If they were fired when, James, said that, they need their job back. And thanks to the play-in tournament, Green and the Warriors are still alive despite ending up 10th in the Western Conference standings at the conclusion of the 2023-24 NBA regular season. The Warriors will look to keep their title hopes alive this season when they go up against the Sacramento Kings in a must-win game this Tuesday on the road. The winner of that game will face the loser of the other play-in game between the New Orleans Pelicans and the Lakers. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of LeBron James? Leave your opinion in the comments.